Today's audio cast is brought to you by the DNC and the RNC, because sometimes Americans actually agree. So on this one, I'm going to go ahead and hop around between two articles I found. One is Nine Weird Moments at the Democratic National Convention, and one is Ten Weird Moments at the Republican National Convention. So I want to be fair and balanced here. I can't be fair and balanced, but you get what I mean. I'm I'm not Fox News. I'm not going to go ahead and make shit up. So we've got the weird moments for the DNC. Number one, hookup apps, Tinder and Grindr, see a spike in usage during the DNC. That's good, because finally, some of these old-ass white people who make believe they care about minorities might get laid, and you know what? Instead of being those pieces of shit that go ahead and lie, maybe they'll loosen up and tell the truth for once. (laughs) You get my point. No one ever believes that shit, because it's not true. These Democrats will never shape up. They're liars. They're politicians. We have definitions. Politicians, Webster Dictionary. It says liars next to it. Moving on. Uh, We'll just do one more from this one before we move on to the Republicans who I'm very happy to lambast, just like I'm very happy to lambast the Democrats, too, because they're both fucking hypocritical pieces of shit. Okay, number three. I'm skipping number two because I don't give a fuck about actors. The former mission governor who gave the wackiest speech at the DNC. Really? Well, I guess it's only fair, because the Republicans, they've got Ben Carson, so they got their wackadoodle right there. So it's only fair that the Democrats can have their wackadoodle, too, because they got to have fucking airtime. If they don't have some crazy shit going on, millennials are just going to turn the channel just like fucking Family Guy, because that's zany enough. And it's also attention-grabbing, because the main character has testicle chins. Now, moving on to the RNC, fucking crazy-ass white people with their fucking right-wing conspiracy shit. Okay, now that I'm done talking about Tea Party ears... Number one, the band who trolled the RNC concert goers. So apparently they had a concert at the same time or in the same place as the RNC because, of course, Republicans, they love music. And what's great music to a Republican? 90s alternative rock. You heard it here. 90s alternative rock. Now that is the Republicans' wet dream right there. It's not bluegrass, hillbilly music with the battling banjos going on in the background like you think of most Republicans. You know, like the weirdo hillbillies up there who don't own textbooks and never went to school. Yeah. Maybe I have the wrong view of Republicans. Well, it's fine. Whatever. No one gives a shit what they think. So, apparently, Third Eye Blind trolled the people that went to their concert who liked Republicans because they were too conservative. So you're telling me Third Eye Blind knew they were going to do a concert for the RNC and this wasn't an issue until the time the concert started? I don't know about anybody else here, but I remember in the olden days when we had these big political conventions and we had security and we had curators and people that planned them And they'd go ahead and vet the people they're bringing up on stage. However, between these two, you had crazy shit going on. No one went ahead and verified any of their facts. They didn't go ahead and even look into the band they hired to do the intro for a concert for the RNC and to see what their political leanings was. You didn't think that was a good idea? Before you bring them into a giant right-wing nut job case with a bunch of people with guns? Really? Not a good idea. That's not a good idea on anyone's part for that one. Now, this one is number two. The convention speaker who claimed Hillary Clinton was influenced by Lucifer. Of course, we're talking about the Republican madman turned madman, Ben Carson, who's completely insane. However, as much as we can always say negative things about Ben Carson, America needs its Ben Carsons. We need them. Because if it wasn't for Ben Carson people would continue going around and saying, this stuff is hard to do, but it's not brain surgery. Now, we can go ahead and say to all of these incompetent people in the world, it's not that easy. You don't understand. 
it, it's, it's not brain surgery. It's not that easy. I love paradigm shifts in America. Ben Carson's? Who the fuck put this person on stage and let him open his mouth? He's insane. Oh my goodness. And Trump? You had Ben Carson's, an insane sociopath that believes God is talking to him. And you know, America, that's a great thing. It's great that he got that far because, like, the last person that believed God was talking to him, we didn't throw him into a mental institution. We called him President Bush because God speaks to him. Apparently, God tells him we need to wage war in other countries that have nothing to do with us. That's what we need. We need more evangelical, crazy people running this country because that's what we need. More war. More destruction. I see crazy people on TV saying, let's kill all these people. Let's deport them. Let's make them build walls. Let's go ahead and not let them take our jobs. Because we want our children to go out in those fields and pick the berries. Because, of course, it's a great job for a five-year-old in America. No, we want immigrants to do that shit, you fucking crazy-ass sociopaths. You're insane. Really? My God. God is talking to me right now. And he's saying, your brain's gonna break if you continue to expose yourself to stupid. God tells you right now to turn it off, to put it down, to just step away from the computer. You don't need to put yourself through this stress. These people are crazy, and they're the ones we're going to elect to be president. Like, comment, subscribe, enjoy it. I enjoyed saying it, so I'll see you next time.